So for this question, you were called to a house for a 25-year-old male patient who was complaining of severe upper uh, leg pain and fever upon examination of the leg. You notice that it is red, warm to touch, and swollen. You learn that he is home recovering from recent surgery in which his femur uh, was corrected in terms of an open fracture he suffered during a hockey game last week. What is the most likely diagnosis? and what would that be the most likely cause so for this question we're looking for uh, why is this uh, patient having the the pain and symptoms that he is having and then what is the most likely cause uh, causing those uh, signs and symptoms so let's go through these one at a time <clears throat> so the first one there osteoporotic fracture well the fact that it's a 25 year old uh, male unless he has some type of endocrine disorder he shouldn't have osteoporosis, so we could cross off A as a possibility. Uh, and number B, osteoarthritis. Again, the fact that he's 25, not that 25-year-olds uh, can't have arthritis, but after a fracture and, and uh, after surgery is uh, not a likely cause for the, for the signs and symptoms that he's experiencing. The next one here is we have osteomyelitis, which is a uh, bone infection that is caused by Staphylococcus aureus uh, bacteria. Uh, that is the correct answer in this case uh, because of I mean, the swelling, the fever, the pain that the patient experienced, the warmth, the touch, all those indicate uh, some form of infection. And uh, the reason why it's Staphylococcus and not D, the bacteria Streptococcus, the most common uh, bacteria in osteomyelitis is Staphylococcus aureus and the reason being is Staphylococcus aureus is the most common or the most abundant bacteria found on uh, on the skin and in mucous membranes so to any type of penetrating wound whether it be uh, a gunshot or a knife wound or anything that penetrates the skin like an open fracture uh, it opens up a route for the Staphylococcus aureus to enter into uh, the body past that first line of defense so it can enter into the blood uh, or it can enter in this case into bone so that is the the correct answer for again and the reason why D is not uh, correct it is osteomyelitis but a streptococcus infection is not uh, common uh, to cause uh, osteomyelitis but it, I mean it could but it's not the common cause and then uh, finally, E, rheumatoid arthritis uh, caused by an autoimmune response. Well, that again, uh, rheumatoid arthritis doesn't affect uh, usually the center of a bone. Uh, like in this case, it affects uh, joints. And for the most part, unless it's juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, it affects older individuals as well. So we could cross that off as a possibility. So again, uh, a bone infection. Uh, osteomyelitis caused by a staphylococcus aureus uh, infection.